they're all. So Dee's asking me why I see why I have a woman secretary. I'm like, that's the most opportune thing that I had available when my ex-girlfriend quit her job. So then it's because I trust women. I was raised by a single mom. Like I trust women more than men, even though I distrust a lot, almost everybody. And then you're talking about when I lived with you, was when I was your roommate. Yeah, like I. So you were already like on edge and rattled about all of your things that you're worried about. And I remember when, like you used to have this routine where you would sleep in the living room. I mean, you would eight eighty sleep in the living room so that yeah. you can work in your room and. Oh yeah. The, oh yeah, yeah. Right. And then like one day we, we were just being silly, and I don't remember even what we were talking about. But I said, you better not do that anymore. I'm Is that gonna... where you put my, your hand in my pants? What? No. <laughs> First of all, there would have nothing to put them in, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, we oh, oh, oh. But... Yeah, we're already naked. So, but I mean, like, I we were talking about something stupid, and I was like, you better not do that anymore, or I'm going to kill you. And, and then you said, no, you won't. And I said, yes, I will. And oh. Then that night... And then for the rest of the time you lived there, you started sleeping in your room with the door shut, with your head in the closet, presumably with a gun. What? And I was like so blown away that you actually considered that I might actually kill you. Like I don't think I thought that. I, well, you, it's I, made it, me feel weird because that's not you don't usually joke that far. Okay, but <laughs> you, I mean you know enough about me to know that I, I don't even own a weapon. I'm not that kind of person. I don't even like to kill insects. Yeah. And, so it's just like, it always stuck out to me how you took that as a legitimate threat. I don't know what's going on. Well, then it was a coincidence. You, but you weirded me out, like, probably. Well, okay, I guess so, but it's not like why I would kill you after all this time. I think you were experimenting on, you know, to see if you could uh, do that. You'd seen if you could make an expression that would oh, come off as serious. Oh, okay. And it worked? And well, I but guess it worked. Because you're susceptible to that sort of thing anyway. Like, you expect people to be doing things that... I don't not, know. Not you. Not my man. Okay, well, I don't know. I thought <laughs> he did because he seemed to believe it. And so I thought that was it. So then after that, I took it in, and I was like, okay, well, I'll be, I'll be sensitive about that issue. And <laughs> since then, I haven't tried to kill you. <laughs> not to physically. <laughs> Anyway, I'm trying to kill my heart. You got a new girlfriend and everything. I've never tried to kill your heart. First of all, you've had two girlfriends since I've known you. And I didn't freeze you out like you always do when you get a girlfriend. Freeze you. <laughs> what? Uh, I've only had two girlfriends since. Yes, and every yeah, time you nothing. disappear for the entire time you're with them. What? And then come back when it's over. I disappear when I at random many times. No, I've whenever been single, you get a new I've friend. I've been single 90% of my... Yeah, I guess, right, when I, when I made Ricky my... And best then when friend, you had I made, Adam, when I made when my you last had girlfriend, the homeless guy, and when you had Adam. Jackie, Adam and Marie, or whoever. Yeah. And so I always know that you found a new friend, and then they go away, and then you start texting me. Well, I'm sorry about that. But anyway, yeah. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta up your up your perceived value. Well, that that, that that that's okay. So there's there's two ways to deal with women. Then you gotta be uh, you gotta look like the alpha male and have your 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 value very high at once and you got to show her that you're a leader she's gonna have to follow you and you know you're worth it that you can get a bunch of different women the other way uh, to women is to extremely show value is to stick around so in that sense um, me and him just stuck around each other as like best friends you know for years and so that's that's how you know you know loyalty is is, is of high value a women wants to know if you're gonna stay loyal and stick around you know you're not gonna give up I think that she knows. Uh, I don't know. Jeff, I don't know what she knows. Jeff would have to know because I mean. I don't know what she knows now because it's been no communication for a week, and I know that's not that that's not very long, but it's. Uh, I don't know. In the way you feel now. For me, it's like I'm still, uh, I'm impatient and anxious, and it feels like you know a few days ago I felt like forever. It felt like three days of no communication, just one nasty, cold-hearted message. <laughs> it's like feels like. You know, you have to kill yourself, you have to die. So I, I kind of died and became a new person. Well, I did. I died and became a new person. See, today you mean? This was... Between Saturday night and Sunday night. And today's Thursday at noon. We're always recreating our 
ourselves, and that's something I've been doing a lot for the last two years. You wouldn't even uh, recognize me. Well, when you showed up on time, I didn't recognize you. <laughs> See, hey, there you go. I was like, are you turning over a new leaf for there real? There you go. I, got, I left late too. Like, well, well, I got there. I, no, really, I got there half an hour late. It just took you that long to, to get your bag or whatever. And I should, I didn't expect that. I, I, when your plane was arriving, I wanted to be there then. And I was like 25 minutes late oh, well, for your arrival. But then, of course, I would have just been doing loops around the terminals. <laughs> woo, woo. <Yeah. laughs> Listening to some fun, fun music though. Listen to my TS well, Taylor you Swift. Enjoy driving. You know, I'm so glad that you ditched all of that. I don't like using up energy. Rap. Um, I didn't really. I mean, I, I, I like to just listen to Kanye now. You said you switched away from the like evil tech guy kind of. Oh yeah, yeah. I just listen to Kanye, and he's yeah. very masculine, very uh, male male empowerment. He's but like he's like the true evolution of hip hop. I really think it can mold your feeling to listen to that music. It can help keep you uh, sustain you in a set of feelings, but. Well, I, if you played dark angry rap, I feel like you would. Like you were talking about Thug Life with Tupac and how it became an entire culture. And I yeah. think that's the power of the music you listen to. It'll say, like, if you listen to death metal, I think you'll become like a death metal person. I think mean, you already have to have that susceptibility. You think so? Music's just an element. It's not like a... I think it's humans, and humans are the creators, and obviously they created the music. And it's... Uh, so I would say, like I said, it'll, it'll, sustain, it'll sustain certain emotions in you. Uh, I, I think it has a power. Like, I, I can set a playlist right now that I think would generally change your mood. I won't want to do it too contemplative. And so let's do it. With, but a social experiment. I'll put on the Bluetooth. You have it on your phone? Yeah, I do. But I don't know. It really will change your mood, though. And I want to see it. Oops. So do it. Turn on your Bluetooth. Smack me. Man, I said no. <laughs> it's on? Okay. It's just... I don't think I can add a new device. Oh, you, can, you can add my car. We have to stop first, maybe? No. Because my car is like retarded. Oh, it has that thing. I think it's yeah, pushing too many buttons. Well, let's... Pushing too many buttons, folks, is unsafe while you're driving in I motion. Don't, I don't even know what I'm seeing. You gotta it. slow down the relationship before you start pushing each other's buttons. In two so... miles, the exit on the right. So we'll stop pretty soon.
first of all, they didn't have a lot of options available, and then they're always much higher priced. Mm. 